So uh, a bit of misinformation on the uh, on the screens there, but there you can see the damage he's done to the Armco barrier. But great to see Thomas Enger climbing out of the car. That probably will have to be replaced. The barrier there has been sufficiently damaged that I think they're going to have to replace it. Enger initially gets squeezed onto the grass. Well, he's, he comes on the right-hand side of the racetrack, trying to make space. Lawrence Van Four pushes him wide, but Enger keeps his foot in it again. Coming out, the, the Lamborghini of Blake Mullen sweeps into the corner. Suddenly, Enger's got to get out of it, and he's been pinched on the inside. He got pinched on the way down. So now you've got cars two abreast. Now look, there's battling. the contact. There's the contact. The well, that's suddenly, well, that's what began the whole process. In fact, it happened before they even got anywhere near turn two. That was still on the exit of turn one on the climb up over. Wow. It's on cartwheels three times in the air. Massive impact for the Lamborghini. Thomas Enger wonders whether he's taking a private pilot slice. There again, you can see the damage to the barrier, the big, big hit. Then the car flies through the air. But the key is the car itself, the integrity of the cockpit is absolutely intact. And then comes to rest the rear of the car, straddling the barrier, steam from the radiators in the front. Uh, and that is as dramatic as it can get. Quite starting to rain quite hard now. So here we're looking at the replay of the start again. On the inside line there is Thomas Enger in the black Lamborghini. And that's where Rene Ras gets through up into second place. Then there's a the bit of a kerfuffle here. And then the contact occurs and the two cars go hurtling off towards the left-hand side. Enger and almost gathers it together. Well, it hits the back of the Audi who was just to his right. And the hitting of the Audi was there, which speared the car literally off the track to the left that initial heavy impact into the Armco barrier, which has damaged the barrier, in my view, substantially. And here's the... Shit. Oh, snap. <laughs> Get him! Get him! The headline incident was the one down at turn four. This was frightening. Flat tyre for Alex Premer. This is the result. High speed impact right into the side of James Courtney's car. It smashed the roll cage. Both cars are out today. Both drivers on the anti-inflammatories. They're bruised, but they're otherwise OK. You can't say that about the cars. Well, you've got to say also the next generation cars. This is on board now with Todd Kelly. Just have a look at this. 
On your right. Oh, that is unbelievable vision. That would be one of the most uh, high-speed side intrusion impacts we've ever seen in the history of the sport. And unbelievable for the next generation cars.